will demonstrate main muscle tests for shoulder abduction grades 5, 3, and 2. Patient will be in short sitting with affected arm at side and elbow slightly flexed. PT will stand behind the patient with one hand on the patient's upper trapezius to prevent compensation. PT will bring the patient into shoulder abduction and back down. PT will then ask the patient to repeat the range of motion. PT will then bring the patient into shoulder abduction and ask the patient to hold the position. PT will then place the other hand just proximal to the patient's elbow and apply mid, mod, and max resistance. Since the patient did not break position, the patient scores a 5 for many muscle tests for shoulder abduction. For manual muscle test shoulder abduction grade 3, PT will bring the patient into shoulder abduction and back down. The PT will then ask the patient to repeat the range of motion. PT will then bring the patient into shoulder abduction and ask the patient to hold the position. The PT will then apply resistance, but the patient is unable to hold shoulder abduction. Patient scores a 3 for manual muscle test uh, for shoulder abduction. For manual muscle test shoulder abduction grade 2, the PT will bring a patient into shoulder abduction and back down. The PT will then ask the patient to repeat the range of motion. The patient is only able to provide partial range of motion, therefore the patient will ask the or the PT will ask the patient uh, to lie in supine. PT will stand on the affected side and will bring the patient into a full shoulder abduction and then back in. PT will then ask the patient to repeat the range of motion. The patient is able to perform full range of motion and is given a grade 2 for manual muscle test for shoulder abduction.